We have got so many title carriers, but we have got few leaders in those titles. If I am standing here because I want to possess a big title, I'll be wasting all of your time. You are labor, you are sacrificed to come early in the morning. How sometimes you defend this church, thinking that this man of God is directing us to God, it will all be a waste. And there are so many churches with the leaders who are wasting their members. And people have been wasted for many years. By the time they are discovering that I was wasted, life has already caught up with them. There is very little they can do with their life. They end up very bitter. They are bitter with the pastor. They are bitter with churches. And sometimes I'll blame the followers and I'll say this. Where was God in your heart when you are being misled? Why couldn't you seek God for discernment? Why didn't you invest in seeking God for clear direction? Because people are being wasted. How can somebody open a church because you want to possess a big title? I wish people can just understand what calling means. You talk to people who have a genuine call. If anything, we are always trying to quit, only that it is not possible. People who are honestly and sincerely called, they will behave like Jonah. Sometimes you are looking for the ship that ends to Tashis. But then you always find a big fish prepared to vomit you in Nineveh all the time. If personally I needed a big title, by the way, I, it has been proposed to me. That was 2019. I think that is when I would have been ordained with those big titles. If now you would be ordained to be a bishop. Let me tell you. There is this man called this Andabio Chambach. He died. How many have seen Andabio Chambach? He was he was first of all a military man in the US. Then after he retired from military, God called him into ministry when he was already retired. He has raised dead people. He's one of the apostolic carriers, apostolic grace carriers in America. Eh? And W. Schenbach. And Neldai Muse, who finished well. Eh? And no man would speak with the Lord. A man who has raised even dead people. Do you know which title he used to call it? Brother Shembach. What was his name? Brother Shembach. Even after raising the dead, Brother Shembach. And he's a man who has ministered in the many nations. I saw a testimony in one of the videos when he was giving a testimony how he, he prayed for healing of a, a child who had 26 illnesses. Which got cured instantly, all of them confirmed by a medical doctor. In Kenya, if I happen to heal somebody like that, I'll be an archbishop by the end of that day. So, look at Molly Seluna. He had two titles, but the most famous was Brother Seluna, the man who has touched the whole world. Otherwise, he was evangelist Mollis Seluna, brother Seluna. He has met who is who in this world. He has moved in the nation. He has gotten the respect and honor that a man would want to see before he departs this earth. But he remains as brother Mollis Seluna. Look at Bonke, a man who is preaching in a city of six million people in Nigeria. Can you imagine yourself speaking to six million people and you still don't become an archbishop? He 
had two titles. One, Brother Reinhardt. Two, Evangelist Reinhardt. No reverend, no bishop, no apostle. What are two Joe to happen to a Kemeka home hapa? If I put a taputa protocol, you do as a convicia. Protocol. I love the night of Shida. Io Camisa Namafuta, you come my tabu of tap. I tambui, Paduana Nita Jo. I tambui mafuta. I mean, leadership is not about seeking titles. It is about delivering what God has called us to do. Jesus, I go and I go there. What to do? Was there any none? No, I didn't go for the a rabbi teacher because that is how he was ministering to them. I didn't want to meet a prophet. I perceive you are a prophet. Uh huh. Hallelujah. So you go there. What will do me when you want to away with none? What you could you find a title? And that title is raising a lot of expectations that you cannot deliver. So you leave people frustrated. So leadership and title, I want to separate them. And I want to talk about the true leadership that seeks to do the true assignment. Irrespective of titles, that this person is able to die doing what God called him or her to do. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes. Nakipuri ilingia kwa sababu ya kipao. Kitambo alikuwa mtunzuri sana. In the leadership, we should not be carried away by titles. Hallelujah. 